Hi everybody and welcome back to Alistair Davis Golf. Today's video is all about how we get that magical ball turf contact, that pressured strike, that correct divot after the golf ball that most golfers are looking for. Now the importance of this is mostly when we're on a tighter lie or on a fairway or even a tee box like I am today. Because if we have a fluffy liar on the tee peg, getting that kind of downward angle of attack or that ball turf contact isn't as important. The key thing with all contact is we want to hit the ball about the second or third groove here really. And in order to do that, we need the shaft leaning forward and we need a descending angle of attack. Now if the ball sat up nice and fluffy, we can get away with getting that same contact point with a slightly different delivery. So if you are playing off fairways, and hopefully you all are, then this becomes very important to you to get that magical contact, that magical ball turf contact. So what I've got here is just drawn a white line with some athlete's foot spray on the ground to give us some feedback as we're going through some things here today. But essentially I'm looking for the, obviously the club to be landing target side of this line, lead side of that line. Now what I want to talk about with this video is the trail side. So I want to talk about the right side, the right arm, the right knee and the right foot. So all trail side. So the idea being that when we're making contact with the golf ball correctly, our trail side is all pushed forward. So my trail knee is nearer the line than it was at address. Even though at some stage in the downswing we might see a slight squat, then it's going to be working towards the golf ball. So the trail knee is going to be working towards the golf ball. My trail foot is rotating in. I'm moving my pressure weight more towards my lead side. My trail shoulder is going to be getting nearer to that line as my shoulder opens up and my hips rotate and body rotates forward and extends. My trail elbow is going to be nearer that line. My trail wrist is going to be nearer that line. So at address we might find my trail wrist is just slightly ahead of that line but at impact you might find my trail wrist is much more in front of that line. So we have a much more forward lean forward and aggressively towards target at contact. So it's all about the trail side. So how do we achieve that? So one of the things I would get you to do is just to feel we are pushing that trail side. We're pushing off this trail side, forward, rotating and extending upwards like so. So imagine we're doing this kind of move. We're trying to feel almost like if I had a, a you know, a hammer or an action, I was trying to whack something, how I'm moving forward, pushing forward, to allow that trail side to be nearer that line. So it's more a concept and a feeling of moving forward with the trail side. Let's hit one. Let's try and feel the divots after that golf ball and trail sides all forward. Okay. I'll show you a close up of this divot here and you'll see here the divot is pretty much exactly what I'd want to see. And generally my divots are probably a little bit slimmer than this. So this is better than me. So just purely thinking about pushing off my trail side has given me personally a better divot. The divot depth in this case is good and the starting point after the white line is almost perfect for me. Don't always get it perfect first time. So, you know, conceptually if I'm thinking of something that might be something to think of to help my ball striking myself. This key that when you're playing golf, you have a thought that helps you perform better, whether that be in contact or direction. Now, for me, that worked quite well for contact. I enjoyed that contact. So that might be something I would start to look at in my own game personally as well. But having feedback like this and having something you go to is vital on the range. But again, trail side. So getting that line, basically getting your right shoulder, right knee, right foot close to that line as you can. So. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video on how to get that ball turf contact. If you have, please click like down below. It really helps my channel grow. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I've got regular content coming every week on a variety of subjects. And you make sure you get all the content for free. Also chat below, tell me what videos you want to hear from me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with a video that's perfect for you. Thanks for watching. See you again here soon.